largest recruitment company, Staffline, and adult training provider, PeoplePlus, aims to keep people employed throughout lockdown while keeping supermarket shelves well stocked with food. Uh, joining me now is the group manager of People Plus, Simon Rouse. Simon, very good morning to you. Um, so take us through this. What exactly is the plan? How are these people getting back to work so quickly? Well, good morning. Um, so great to be with you this morning to talk about Feed the Nation, which you can check out at feedthenation.co.uk where all the information is. But in essence, it's a partnership which is trying to do two things. So as you said, there are thousands of people that have been affected by COVID-19 and have got the insecurity of their uh, job having been lost. And what we're trying to do is route those people, thousands of people, into work during this period. And we're doing that through a partnership with the leading supermarkets, food production uh, companies across the UK that we're in partnership with. And since we've started, uh, we've put nearly 10,000 people into work in the last sort of two To interview, we can put you straight to interview with staff by recruitment. But if you need some training to uh, transfer skills or whatever, again, we can provide that training for you free online to get you into work as quickly as we can. And that's what we're trying to do. Um, so of the, the, the thousands of people that you have managed to get back into work, can you generalise in any way about, about what their situation was? Were they furloughed workers? Were these people who were working for firms and then laid off? Uh, were they unemployed already? Yes, yeah, so it's, so it's a mixture, actually, is the truth. So uh, the, the early start of the campaign, we were working with agencies, uh, with bodies across uh, hospitality, retail, where people were literally uh, stopping work and, and have been furloughed. Uh, but we've also been working with people that have been out of work for two or three years. Uh, and increasingly, we're seeing more and more people from different sectors. And I think one of the key messages is do, do think about... Uh, whatever your skills were, whatever your job was before, you've probably got the transferable skills to come and help uh, feed the nation, get uh, products onto supermarket shelves. So we're working with people from right across different industries and different uh, situations. And that, I think, is the real uh, beauty of the campaign. OK, uh, so Simon, so, so for those people watching right now who may be very interested in getting into work at the moment, what were those skills that you just referenced there? Uh, what is it that they would need on their CV and what don't they need on their CV to get these jobs? Yeah, so I think my, my starting answer to that is don't worry about what's on your CV. Um, right now, there are literally thousands of jobs, whether that's in uh, warehouses, uh, whether it's in logistics of driving uh, lorries, or whether it's in supermarkets, uh, putting stuff on shelves or serving. So, you know, the skills that you might have had in retail, whether that's customer service, if you're a taxi driver that's been driving uh, cars, or literally any industry where you've just got the core skills of being able to do a good job, then there's absolutely going to be an opportunity for you in this current environment. And I think, you know, whether it's through the feedthenation.co.uk website, whether it's your job centres, so we're getting lots of fantastic support from Job Centre Plus and putting these opportunities out there. Don't hold yourself back by what you think you can and can't do. Talk to us and I'm sure we can find an opportunity for you. And presumably those employers that are, that are crying out for workers right now are accepting them, welcoming them with open arms. Absolutely. And, you know, we, we've all seen, because we've all been in supermarkets, the challenges that we've had in, in terms of getting things onto the shelves. And we're equally going to start seeing some challenges in terms of food harvesting and getting uh, food uh, into, um, into food production. So you know, right now, employers are desperate for people that are just willing to work themselves through this crisis. And again, you know, what I'd say to people is some of these jobs are temporary. Um, but actually, what you're demonstrating for your future employment is a willingness to work hard and work through this crisis. And I think that was found you in, in good stead. So you know, the, the key message this morning is there are lots of jobs out there, uh, lots of opportunities to play your part in helping to feed the nation. Uh, so just don't hold back. Come and check out the website uh, and come and uh, see what we can do to, to help you get work. Uh, well, uh, just remind us, how many people have you managed to get back into work at the moment? Yes, yeah, so in the first two to three weeks, we put 10,000 people into work, and that's growing uh, every day. And there are thousands of jobs still out there, so uh, lots of opportunity. And we want to put as many people as we can uh, into, work, into work during this crisis, and that's what both Staffline and uh, People Plus are keen to do. And as I say, with lots of partners and employers right across the UK. So uh, do check out the website, feedthenation.co.uk. I'm sure plenty will. Simon writes from People Plus. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.